been in this type of situation before. <laughs> It's another ordinary day here in this beautiful and peaceful town. And you're walking with a beautiful woman. Well, you just met and whose name you probably don't remember because of how drunk you are right now. But let's call her Shaniqua. So you and Shaniqua are having a good time right now and are on your way home when an idea struck. All you can focus at the moment is getting home with Shaniqua and... <clears throat> and yes. Before you go any further though, What's the point? There is one thing you need to know. HIV, otherwise known as human immunodeficiency virus. So what is HIV? H stands for human. This infects the human being. I stands for immunodeficiency. This infects the immune system. B stands for virus. This infects the living cells. So how does HIV happen? <laughs> HIV can be spread through any type of unprotected sex, oral, vagina, or anal. If one of the partners has the virus, this can happen when body fluids such as semen, vaginal fluids, or blood from an infected person gets into the body of someone who is not infected. So what happens to a person when they get infected by HIV? HIV infects a cell by first attaching itself to and merging with the host T cell. T cells, also known as CD4 cells, are a type of white blood cells that form a crucial part of our immune systems. Once inside the host cell, HIV multiplies. Once the CD4 levels fall below 200, a person's immune system will probably be damaged and the person will likely experience definitive signs and symptoms of illness. So what are the symptoms? The symptoms of HIV vary quickly from person to person. They will experience the primary stage of HIV which is the acute HIV infection. The symptoms of this stage are blood rash, fever, sore throat, and severe pain. Next stage is what we call the asymptomatic period wherein the virus replicates and begins to weaken the immune system. Lastly, advanced infection. Once this happens, HIV will now progress to stage 3 or often referred to as AIDS or acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. A person at this stage has a severely damaged immune system and includes symptoms like nausea, vomiting, persistent diarrhea, chronic fatigue, weight loss, shortness of breath, and lastly, recurring fever. So, how do we avoid HIV? The only way to avoid HIV is to prevent having contact with it. Use a condom every time and having sex to prevent the possibility of access for the virus to transmit to the other person. Use a clean needle. If you use needles to inject drugs, make sure that it is sterile and new. And don't share it with others. This could spread HIV by blood contact. Get tested. Know your doctor today if you have contact with HIV. If you have one, there will be a greater chance to reduce its effects. And there you have it. Now that you know all about HIV, let's all be more aware about its effects on us and do what we can to prevent it from happening. By doing this, we can save lives.